Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the mighty mini-tropolis of Marnie, Iowa at Baxter Cycle and look what they have laid out for us today. Meriden Blue and Tangerine Bonneville Triumph Bonneville T100. I've wanted to ride this particular bike in this particular color for quite some time and today we are going to do it. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. I like that sound. I like that sound. Let's go have some fun. Oh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm going the wrong way. Look at that nice tight turning radius. Beautiful. I love the sound. Wow, this thing is hot. Very nice. It's a 900cc single overhead cam, four valve per cylinder, parallel twin with 64 horsepower. 59 foot-pounds of torque. That's uh, 80 newton meters. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's do the little turn test here. Wheelbase is 57.1 inches. I think that is 1450 millimeters. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome clutch. Boy, this thing is snappy. Very snappy. I like this a lot. 310 millimeter disc on the front with a Brimbo caliper, two piston caliper. Look at that, huh? Look at that. Isn't that just nice? Nice tight turning. I like it. 255 millimeter Nissan on the back. I think that's a single piston. Let's take a look at that. 41 millimeter cartridge fork on the front. 4.7 inches of travel. That's about 120 millimeters. I think we'll go to the left today. Let's make some noise, my friends. Let's make some noise. It's a new bike, so we're going to short shift. The rear is a twin shock system with adjustable preload. Also 4.7 millimeters of travel. Boy, this thing just goes. We do have a gear indicator down there. That's nice. Very good feel. Very good handling. I like this a lot. Five-speed transmission. Excellent shifting. Absolutely excellent shifting. And look at how it turns here. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Hey, a little bit of gravel there. I love the way it pulls. Beautiful, incredibly well-mannered motorcycle. I love the color. Meriden blue on top of tangerine with this uh, kind of a silver stripe. Well, look at that when we get parked. Seating position, I am leaning forward. I am reaching to the bars. My knees are slightly below my hips. My heels are behind my knees, so it's kind of got a crouch. I do like it. I do like it. It's a bit of an aggressive reach, but it's a, it's a very good aggressive. Something I could certainly live with. Boy, that engine is incredibly responsive. Incredibly responsive. Let's do our little spin test here. Wahoo! I like it. I like it a lot. If you're ever in Marnie, Iowa, get yourself over here to the Derailed Grill right there. Good eats. Good eats. Excellent torque. Look at that. It just picks right up. This is an awesome engine. I am a bit envious. I've got the 865 oil air cooled in my 900. And uh, this is the actual 900cc liquid cooled version. And I would say this has a lot more low end pull. I think 80% uh, of the torque comes in at 2000 RPM. So quite a difference, quite a difference. I like this a lot, and I certainly love this. This is all classic Triumph in the front here. I think she has traction control. <laughs> I like it. Seat height is 31.1 inches, 790 millimeters. This thing is a hoot to run, an absolute hoot. Handling is superb, very light handling. I would say the handling is one of the big differences between the T100 and the T120. Uh, the T100 has, uh, it seems like a lot more nimble handling, a lot lighter feeling handling. The T120 has excellent handling. It's just a little heavier. I think it's designed that way. Of course, it has a substantial amount more power. This is an excellent motorcycle. I love this. Absolutely love this. Okay. Let's get the other camera out and take a look at this hot rod. Wahoo! Well, that certainly is a spirited riding machine. Good looking too, isn't it? I just love this. I love the T100 model, the 900cc bike, and I certainly love this one. 
one of the big things that Triumph did on this, besides choosing the Meriden blue color and the uh, tangerine, is they painted the fenders Meriden blue. And I think that is just something they should just do more often. I mean, look at that. Didn't that just bring the whole bike together? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So look, what do we got here? Well, first off, all the styling cues of a classic Triumph. But let's, let's talk about the specs. So she is a 900cc single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder, liquid cooled. She looks like she's finned, and she is finned, but she's liquid cooled with a 270 degree crank, 11 to 1 compression, 64 horsepower out of the box. 59 foot pounds of torque that's 80 80 newton meters just a lot of a lot of stuff going on there and let's just look at the quality of that too so uh, it feels like a lot more i've got 67 horsepower on my older t100 and this feels like it has a substantial amount more power uh, let's jump to the front end 310 millimeter full floating disc abs with a two piston brembo i think that's a two piston yes two piston brembo 41 millimeter cartridge forks Travel is 4.7 inches. That's about 120 millimeters. Look at that beautiful fender. Isn't that just, I mean, that is just so well done. You know, this bracket with the Triumph on it. Hey, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, and I love these, the protectors on the on the uh, forks. That's just an always, something that they just always do. The front tire is a 190-18. The rear has got twin shocks with adjustable preload. Again, 4.7 inches of travel on the rear. That's 120 millimeters. Look at that back end. Isn't that just gorgeous? Great big, I think that's a 150, 70, 17 on the rear. Spoked wheel, just gorgeous. Chain drive, of course. I just love the way the whole thing looks. I love those pea shooter pipes. Oh, she has a center stand. That's nice, very nice. Absolutely like the whole, oh, the whole package is gorgeous. Wheelbase on this hot rod, 57.1 inches. That's uh, 1,450 millimeters. Did not find a ground clearance number. Seat height, 31.1. 790 millimeters. Fuel capacity, 3.8 gallons. And this is supposed to be a more efficient engine than the previous engine. That's uh, 14 and a half liters, by the way. And wet weight. So wet weight on this one is supposed to be 503 pounds. That's full tank of gas, everything, everything a going. It's 228 kilograms. That's about what mine weighs, but this has a substantial amount more performance. Okay, let's go over what makes this thing into a Triumph. And the first thing would be the styling. It just, it looks like a Triumph. It looks like a classic Bonneville, doesn't it? The paint, the, the uh, angular heads, the outside pipes, you know, the big Triumph heart with the timing cover, you know, the faux transmission over here. That's actually, that's not a transmission. That's actually a chain cover. Just a, you know, well done deal there. You know, the spoke wheels. I love this rear end. Just gorgeous done. The flat seat, absolutely flat seat. Those are my new gloves, by the way. You know, just so well done. And it oozes of quality. Cast items. Look at look at the quality of those foot pegs. You know, even the even the passenger pegs. Just gorgeous. Every nut and bolt in the right spot. Everything's so well done, you know. Love this large cast triumph, you know, badge right there. The little silver line through the middle here, the pinstripe. Tangerine on the bottom. Meriden blue on the top. Meriden was a uh, Town in England where they used to have a factory, you know, in times gone by. Stainless steel covers over the uh, injector here. Stainless steel looking pipes. And I love the way they've mixed, you know. This is chrome. This is chrome. This is chrome. This is chrome. Stainless down here. This looks polished, you know, very well done. Cast brake lever. I mean, look at that. It just oozes again, oozes of quality. I just love these things. Up here to the tank again. Knee pads, the big badge. You know, of course, we talked about the paint. This does not look like a locking gas cap, but it is. And it's just so well done. I love, I just love this detail, you know, the pinstripe detail. Hope that's coming through. The white bit of piping on the seat here, you know, just, wow. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, jumping up here. Okay, we've got adjustable clutch lever right there. We've got adjustable uh, brake lever too. Stepping over here, the high lows. Information button for this, we'll get to that in a second. Triumph blinkers, always the best. The horn over here, kill switch, run switch, start button, all in one rocker. And then down here we've got the hazard lights. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. That whole thing is just, you know, the classic looking gauges, the chrome rings on top of brushed aluminum, little Triumph symbol right there. You know, everything just looks so... And, and by the way, these are raised, these glass, that, that's kind of got a dome to it. Just so well done, you know, the Triumph down here, the chrome bars, the everything is just right there. Just, wow, wow. Okay, turning this on. So I've got the two gauges, got LEDs down here. 
Uh, down here, I think we can use the information button to change our settings here. Trip A, trip B, uh, miles per gallon, average miles per gallon, the clock, traction control on and off, so it was on. Ha! I need to learn how to shut these things off before I take the bike, right? And then back to odometer. And then on this side, we've got a fuel gauge, uh, range remaining. It says road, down. I think this only has one mode. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, very well done, very well done. I love this, this is just gorgeous. It's got everything I need. I'm a, I'm a simple guy when it comes to motorcycle, and this kind of thing really appeals to me. You know, I love the look, though. I just love this look. Just fabulous, you know. Look at that headlight. Isn't that just gorgeous? All the refracting points on the inside, the Triumph in the center, the little driving light on the bottom. You know, coming down here, we've got the Triumph on the fender, the beautiful Pirelli tires. Just a gorgeous machine in every way. If you all are interested in a newer used Triumph like this, Royal Enfield, Classic British bike of any type. You need parts, accessories, gear, backpack, shoes, anything at all, gloves. Get yourself down here to Marnie, Iowa, Baxter Cycle, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Ask for Mark or Jeremy or Randy and tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, it's a hot day down here and I'm gonna go try to cool off on a bike. Y'all do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo!